Hey guys, Defawfalizer here. Anyway, welcome back to my next Inca Games walkthrough. This one is going to be of Spongebob Saw Game. Yeah, I did a bunch of Simpsons Saw Games, now Spongebob. So let's get this started off with. So yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said that um, they did do a Spongebob game. So yeah, Viacom. C apparently, Garfield cracks down on internet games more than Viacom. I guess the giant... I had flying peanut butter sam. I guess the magical peanut butter sandwich in the sky doesn't care about online games. Thumbs up if you get the reference. If you don't, it's Mr. Enter. SpongeBob's house, Bikini Bottom. It was another exciting day at the Krusty Krab. It's time to rest now. Sleep well, Gary. Oh god, that actually sounded like the show. They probably ripped that voice clip. Good night. The the next morning. I think that's the narrator. Well, now it's time to get ready for work. I hope you slept well, Gary. Gary? Someone took Gary! We meet again, SpongeBob. This time I'll get the recipe for the Krabby Patty. <laughs> get out of my house, insect. Hi, SpongeBob. It is a pleasure to finally meet you. Let's see. Uh. Who are you? I'm Pig Salt, the famous diabolical pup. A bit responsible of the memorable Saw Games. Saw Games? Aren't you the clown who sells burgers? Ronald Mix something! Enough! <sighs> Look behind you! A two headed ogre! You won't expect me to fall for that, will you? <laughs> Ogres don't exist, so stop talking nonsense. <laughs> oh my god! This is the first one in a while that's legitimately had me laughing, not just laughing at their stupid stuff. Where's Gary? What have you done to him? What makes you so sure it's him? Calm down, SpongeBob, and listen carefully. As you can see, Gary is locked inside a cage that, that slowly goes down into a giant fry pot, and it is up to you ooh, to watch him turn the next special course of the Krusty Krab. Don't think it'll be easy. You'll have to come into my castle. Where dangerous traps and evil enemies await. Rescue Gary or let him fry. Make your choice. This clown's not going to get away with this. I'll rescue Gary. It's so good to finally be playing another pig saw game. Just like, um, the last one was, uh, uh, the last one was, um, I forget. It's like, because, like, last one I did was, um, that Garfield one. Oh, God. That was so frustrating. The whole four times thing. Then I did, um... Before that was Tony Crazy Escape. And then, then I think, was the last Saw one. Even then, it wasn't, like, a good Saw one. So, whatever. We've got a Mermaid Man action figure. And we got the bad SpongeBob game music. Oh, whatever. So, let's see. I'll pull this lever. And... Pull this down, and pull this down, and get a snail shell. Now that snail shell, it's kind of obvious where it goes, but I'm going to loot my kitchen to see if I can find anything. It's locked. Oh, that stinks. Crap. Is there anything in here that I can use? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Luckily, I'll just go upstairs. And I will go into my bathroom. Oh, wait. No, not the bathroom. Never mind. I will not go. Actually, no. I want to look in the mirror. There might be something helpful in the... Maybe if I turn out the lights or do something along those lines, it will be helpful. But right now, I will not be. Snail shell. Oh. 
Okay, screwdriver, sock, and karate glove. Hang on. So we're just supposed to ignore that claw. I guess that's just like scenery for how we broke in. Could have sworn you needed that, but I guess that's a different game I'm thinking of. Whatever. So let's take this screwdriver over here and get a what? Okay, a bottle of oil. Okay, now that I have the bottle of oil, I still have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm clicking on everything in this room right now, and it's not really doing anything. It showed a little zoom in window because I accidentally hit right click because I'm using a trackpad. But that's about it. Let's see. Anything in here? Anything at all? Okay, I need another code. Maybe one of these mystical magical objects will shed some light on it. Or maybe I can um, click on my curtain to do something, or maybe I can just throw in the towel and give up. Seem to be good at that. Ah, uh, boy. Oh my god, yes, I used the oil. I'm on to something. Oh my god. 1873. Okay, that is cool. Alright. One, eight, seven, three. Yes, I got the key. I get to get out of here. Oh my god, that was so crazy, but I made it out. Oh, hang on. Is this... Nope, that Flying Dutchman painting is not relevant in the slightest. Just because I was so worried because, like, that I was going to have to, like... Well, I wasn't going to restart. I was going to just, uh save these two recordings but like join them together in the end taking a bit more time in the editing process but no i'm glad i was smart enough not to do that let's see yep this is a homer saw game style one i'm not stupid enough to go to pigsaw's castle let's try squidward's place huh that shell really looks like you could use it we got the pair of rubber gloves though it's locked gee i wonder if it's because squidward doesn't like you let's go to patrick's rock it's not time to play with Patrick. I have to rescue Gary. So, so you're just going to ignore any helpful solutions Patrick might have? You're a real nice SpongeBob. You have good confidence in your friends. Okay, let's go into the Krusty Krab. Oh, the one room was locked. Squidward wasn't home. Hi, Squidward. Why the long face? Mr. Krabs want me, wants me to go deliver the Krabby Patties. But I left my bike at home. And why don't you go get it? Honestly, I don't feel like going all the way over there. I think I'll just stay here waiting for the day to be over. Unless you want to bring it to me. You mean like a special mission, Squidward? No, SpongeBob. It's not a special mission. Just bring my bike. I left the key to my house hidden outside. I think you'll find it easily. I like this. This is actually like legit humor that I'm laughing at. I, I really like it. Okay, so. Do do do. That will be helpful for something. Gumballs. Don't touch those candies, Spongebob. They are for customers only. <laughs> I just love the face Squidward got despite the fact that he doesn't even care about the customer. It's like, you know, um... Hey, Spongebob, you're not gonna take me fan, are you? Oops, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> what does Mr. Krabs want? <laughs> hey, Mr. Krabs... You spelled Krabs wrong! Is something wrong? It's a tragedy, Spongebob. Someone took me first dollar. I see. But who would want to steal one dollar? I bet it was Plankton. He's always behind these kind of things. I'm so sorry, Mr. Krabs. An anchor. Maybe if we help Mr. Krabs, he'll let us borrow his anchor. And his fan. And oh my god, I realize what I have to do now. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see Squidward's face again. Don't touch those candy SpongeBob there for customers. The <laughs> that was terrible. I am sorry for how stupid that voice is or if it would have seemed racist or that looks like Patrick the key is gone I think the fingerprints belong to a starfish even though they look more like Squidward's tentacles let's see Patrick Patrick are you home hi SpongeBob I was just playing come in Let's see. 
Patrick, I'm looking for the key to Squidward's house. Have you seen it? No, SpongeBob, I was playing outside his house this morning. I didn't see any key. Hmm, isn't that a key you're playing with? I don't think so, SpongeBob. These are Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Can I borrow that key? I mean, Mermaid Man. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. I'm playing with them. At least it's better than in Yours, Mine, and Mine, where he's just like, Haven't we learned anything about sharing, Spongebob? Look, Patrick, I got you a new Mermaid Man doll. I'll trade it to you for that key. A new Mermaid Man doll? Excellent, Spongebob. So that was Patrick's only purpose in this game. <laughs> oh my god, I just got the most horrible idea ever. If I, like, um... If there was, like, one where it's, like, um, objective, torture Squidward. <laughs> it would be a Spongebob fan game where you're supposed to torture Squidward in one of the most annoying ways possible. I, I, I could I could actually see that getting made, especially if it was, like, a fan of Mr. Enter. Or, no, it would be an enemy of Mr. Enter. He would, like, frigging despise Mr. Enter. It's been, like, a year since I've seen, um... So, not since I've seen him, since I did my uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Let's Play. It's good to be talking about Spongebob again. Spongebob's is fun. Wait, did I just say Spongebob's? I've never been to his house before, so I don't really know if it, it's fun. Oh, and then there's Squid's Visit. <laughs> God, what is it with me and referencing terrible Spongebob episodes in this video? Okay, so. So, give him the crowbar. Oh, no, just kidding. Give him the broken bike a wrench. Look. Okay. Hey, Squidward. Hey, Squidward. Why the long face? Oh. Okay. Give him the broken bike. I think we need to fix the bike first. Oh, poo poo on you, SpongeBob. We have to go to Jellyfish Fields and find a jellyfish. Get this jellyfish. Yep, it's going to kill me. Dear God! Jellyfishes don't like intruders in their domain. Oh my God! Did you see what he did to him? It like grabbed him by the face and electrocuted him. That's terrible. Okay, Plankton's lab. I know Plankton's not here because he's the final boss of this game. Um, spoiler alert. Although it's not really that much of a spoiler alert. It's too high, can't reach it. <coughs> Where's Plankton? Master Plankton isn't here. The last thing he said he was going to visit someone named Pigsaw. Hey, what's Plankton's next plan to take over Bikini Bottom? I'm not authorized to give that kind of information. But I what I can say is it has nothing to do with Krabby Patties. <laughs> you know, if you really think about it. Plankton can't steal the formula for, um, to save his life, yet he can steal Krabs' first dollar. And maybe it's just me, but I think Krabs would be per even more, uh, no, owing the idiot he is nowadays would be more protective over his first dollar. Hey, that's my one dollar bill. What? Where? Up there. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how it got up there. No problem, Sponge. Here you g Looks like your battery ran out of energy. So we need to get a battery, and... Okay, I got it. I know what to do. Okay, so now, just gonna head over to the... Not Sandy's. Um, to the jellyfish fields. And then we, um... Okay, is this going to brutally kill me? Nope, he brutally killed the battery. Well... That was weird. Okay, so back to Plankton's lab. Yeah, it was smart to do the rubber gloves, cause like, um... Give me that dollar, give me that dollar, give me the dollar. Show me the money, show me the money. Now, to the Krusty Krab. Krusty Krab. The Krusty Krab. The Krusty Krab. Why do I keep sounding it all weird? It's tough. Oh, the face at the end of just one bite. Mr. Krabs, look what I got. One dollar. My, my dollar, you found it. I'll take this baby home right now. 
Now we have free range. Let's open up the safe. Nah, just kidding. We can't rob our boss. Look, grab. Okay, so look at it and. Okay, okay, I know what to do. Screwdriver? <coughs> Say goodbye, Mr. Krabs' fan! We are no longer your fans, Mr. Krabs' fan. Oh, hang on. Do you use the crowbar to get it off? Do you use the wrench to get it off? Okay. Now you use this. There we go. Here we go, here we go. Boom, boom. So Squidward. What do you want, Squidward? Squidward, look what I've got. Your bike! Oh, well, I guess I... Us now I can deliver those Krabby Patties. Steal the candy! So now we can use that to get into Sandy's place, but we still don't have an effective means of getting in. Oh, we can break into Squidward's house, I forgot. Oh, but we already looted it, so there's no need to. Let's go back to SpongeBob's place. Dear God, SpongeBob, do you always leave your doors wide open like this? I mean, I know I'm controlling you, but God, you gotta have some self-control, buddy. God, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> I tell him to have self-control when he literally can't control himself because of me. Hi, stranger. Do you want to hear something interesting? Is it about how I'm a weenie? Yes, I remember. Or is it about Merman Man and Barnacle Boy? I know you were in both those episodes. Something interesting? I'm all ears. The legend has it that the these waters there's wanders the fearsome flying Dutchman. Flying Dutchman? That's right. He wanders around seeking his sock, which was taken away from him many years ago. His sock. That's a little weird. But I I know, but that's what the legend says. And I have a sock. What's this? Okay, let's see. Enlighten the Dutchman and you'll be close to discover the treasure he hides. Interesting. This music's awesome. I don't care what you say. You're wrong. It's awesome. Unless you're agreeing with me. Then you're right. And Wow, I'm a jerk. Hey, Mr. Dutchman, want your sock back? Hey, Mr. Dutchman, I think this is yours. Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? My sock! My precious sock! I'll spare you this time, Sponge. Now I have to go celebrate. That sock turned out to be useful! Why was he, like, having an evil, angry smile? Shouldn't he be happy? Unless, of course, this is Choir Boys, but he's really completely evil. Well, Choir Boys are boating buddies. Yeah, no, it's what, he's like, Will you be my boating buddy, Mr. Dutchman? Oh, God. <laughs> you know that if the Flying Dutchman was in Boating Buddies, that's pretty much how it would go, right? You gotta know that. Huh. The medallion won't fit. It's too small. Okay, so it's not the medallion. It's actually a different one. We gotta find something else. Probably in the below deck set. Okay, this is interesting. Oh my god, I think I got this. We give the picture of the Flying Dutchman the gold medallion. Nope, no, nope, that would be too easy. Wait, it said... Enlighten the Dutchman. Well, first we put that acorn-shaped metal plate and then put the metal plugs. Boom, now we can get into Sandy's place and... I don't know if there's anything left we can do there. I mean, I know there is, but, like, yet, I mean. Basically, I'm gonna go here to get anything Sandy has to offer me, and... Now, I'm not... No, actually, no, I wanna see what happens if I go in without... I, I need to... Okay. I wanted to see if they, like, um, had Spongebob, like, di dehydrating or something. I mean, I know they had that in the game. The actual game. Hi, Sandy, what's wrong? That's right, SpongeBob. I gotta go to a karate tournament tomorrow. And I can't find my karate glove. Without it, I can't compete. That's a pity, Sandy. Would you like a karate glove? Hey, Sandy, look what I found! My karate glove! Now I'm ready for the tournament! Okay, what's this? Pairs of balloons. Inflate. 
Oh, pair of fake arms. Anchor arms! <laughs> God, this has references. <laughs> Both intentional and unintentional. Hmm. Okay, so... Come on, just give him the medallion. Or something else. Look at the shield. Look at the child. Look at the shieldine. Look at the shigula. The shigula. Okay. Oh! That was actually part of it. Okay. So now I've got a wife. I've got a life. But I Oh my god, I'm a freaking idiot. Enlighten the Dutchman. As in, put a flashlight on it. And now you see the golden medallion, and that's where you put it. Oh my god, that's genius. <clears throat> and that opens the chest. God, these guys can be clever when they want to. I'm actually um going to go on vacation, and um, while I'm getting footage for uh, the next part of Top 25 YouTubers, I'm going to be playing um, some more Inky Games walkthroughs, because like, I haven't played any new ones in a while. So, like, I'm going to play some of the Simpsons ones, as well as the, um, the Mordecai and Rigby ones. Because I know someone suggested Rigby Saw game, but I'm, but since Mordecai came out first, I want to do that one first. Oh, uh, yeah, Magic Shield. Okay, so now, I think we have everything. Time to go to, of course, the bright, happy music for Pig Saw's Castle. Okay, well, technically you're not there yet. Could you take me to the island? Of course, it will only cost you one gold doubloon. A gold doubloon? Isn't it a bit expensive for a boat ride? These are dangerous waters. If you want me to risk my boat, that's my price. Gold doubloon. Okay, so apparently that's not enough. And that's kind of sad because we already got the doubloon. So, are we supposed to take it back? That would seem kind of mean. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hey! I thought he was going to say, I don't think so. Because that's what SpongeBob does. No one's screwed with Sponge. Then I summon the electric force right after I address the luminous star. Not before I calmed the Rainmaker and the Night Goddess. Yeah, that makes no sense. Okay. Oh my god, it's it's been on the steering wheel this whole time. It's jammed, I can't get it out. Luckily we have many bludgeoning weapons. Nope. Crowbar. Should have done that one first. I mean, crowbars are designed for that kind of thing. <clears throat> okay, now back to the crappy music. Here you go, mister. A gold doubloon. Now let's go to the island. Okay, Sponge. I just hope you know what you are doing. If you need...